Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Think Race GPS tracking device for your vehicle. So, I purchased this uh, device for my Turo car, and I'm just going to show you guys a little unboxing, a little bit of an install, what my thoughts are about the system, and just a little bit of a review. Let's get into it. So yeah, here it is. Here's what the box looks like. I'm going to open it up for you guys. So I did buy this off of Amazon. It was on Amazon Prime, labeled under Canada Real-Time Vehicle GPS Tracker 3G. Brand is Thinkrace. Opening up is pretty easy. They give you a nice little card there showing, just letting you know like how to activate with a five-digit code. Send them an email. So I, that's what I did. I sent them an email right away. I got a five-digit code. I'll show you guys how to set that up later. But this is what the little device looks like, which is, you know, a nice, simple little device. Has your code listed right on it. SIM card's already installed, which is very nice with a quick connector for electric uh, electricity. And then they give you two different ways to install it. One, if you want to just go through a 12 volt converter, uh, which is this right here. I actually did not use this, so it never even left the bag. The second one they give you is the hardwire kit. And um, well, there's a little 3M tape there. You just stick on the back so you can stick it to the rear windshield, which was pretty simple. And some instruction manuals for the device and how to operate and install. And then there's the hardwire kit. I did notice that the negative had a terminal, but the positive didn't. It would have been nice if the positive had a terminal too, because I had to get one for myself. But then they also come with the inline fuse and a fuse already put into it. The fuse being in place was a nice touch. I didn't have to do that myself, so that was really nice. So I just opened it, checked that it was there, and then I closed it back up. After that, I went through the instructions just to see what's the proper way to install it. And then I think they have the QR code in there for downloading the app, which was really simple. And just kind of reviewed the installation, made everything was the way it's supposed to be. I did open it up, check to see the SIM cards in there, but everything was in place. I didn't even need to actually install it. They had it pre-installed, which was really nice. The only thing I didn't like was it said 3G right on top here, and I, you don't really want people to see that, so I kind of sharpened it. And now it's time to actually install this. So I got myself a connector for the positive end, and I basically just plugged this into my battery. My battery is in the trunk, just one right to the positive terminal, one right to the negative terminal. If you have any other vehicle, basically you just have to get an always on source and an always ground source, which is pretty simple. I decided to just go right from the battery because it was easy and it's close to where I wanted to mount it on the rear window. I put the seats down and I'm taking quite a bit of stuff off to kind of open up this rear uh, section and get my hand underneath it because that's where I wanted to put the device all the way. And I shoved it all the way in there. It's at the rear back of the window. I just took the 3M tape off and I stuck it up there. Luckily this cable just dropped right down and went over to the side and then went behind everything to hook back my battery. It's nice and convenient. Tucked it out of the way. Nobody really knows that it's in there or where it is or anything like that, which is really nice. Discreet out of the way. I mean, she could have probably hit it a little bit better, but I think it was pretty good the way I have it. So I got my email back from the support team. They activated it and then sent me the details of how to log in, my username and everything. So I'm just downloading the app here. It's pretty simple. Download the app and then you log in. After you log in, they prompt you to change your password. Then you change it. Then once you do that, they prompt you to select your country. Of course, I selected Canada. Boom, the way we go. And then everything after that popped up right away. It was nice and simple. Just confirm it. Agree to their terms and conditions. And then, boom, the next thing I know, I have GPS tracking. I zoom out on the map and I can see exactly where my car is. Overall, I love this product and I would recommend it. It's very simple to install. Just connect to your battery, the app, everything was super simple. Didn't give me any headaches. I logged in and worked. And best thing is it's fleet. So you can download more of them and add them and they'll be on the same track. And you can check out the data. There's lots of options you can go through. There's even some geofencing you can do to like uh, make sure you get an alert if your car goes outside of an area, which is pretty cool. So yeah, then after you log in and everything like that, you do get one month free tracking with it, and then they set you up for a yearly subscription, which was $226. Uh, if you like the product and you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video useful. Okay, see ya.